well, we meet Mediv uh, later in his life. He he is a uh, he's 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 taken a bit of a sabbatical to sculpt. Uh, he he he, uh, he prefers, as he says, the quiet. His old friends come a knocking <clears throat> and ask for his help. Uh, and like uh, an old gunslinger, he he dusts off his pistol, so to speak, and and, and comes down and to help his old buddies deal with a, a burgeoning war. What's unusual about this is, uh, is that uh, even in, in war films, you, you're going to choose a side to root for. Where, where Duncan's great magic trick with this particular material is, is humanizing uh, both sides. And, and I think that's a, a very, um, even if they are creatures on the other side, it's a very humanist approach, and, and I appreciated that. Duncan uh, is very collaborative. Uh, he, he's, he's extremely technically savvy. Uh, I, I enjoy seeing him happy. He, he, when, when he comes to the set, he, he's, uh, you can see that he's celebrating all the hard work that's gone into building it. He's, that's infectious. I think fantasy has a, has a great place. Uh, and, and a need. It's sometimes easier to, to uh, accept greater truths with, uh, with a bit of distance between you and the reality. Um, there's something so heightened about, about this world that uh, sometimes it's, it's easier to, to empathize with those uh, mythological values. Did you know that Eddie Redmayne attended Eton College, where he had classes with Prince William? Eddie is also good friends with Benedict Cumberbatch. Both actors have portrayed Professor Hawking in different productions, Cumberbatch in Hawking and Redmayne in The Theory of Everything. Click here for more cool videos. Bye!